All right, guys, we've got a Players Magnum 425 here, no spark. I'm just gonna run you through a quick check on um, how to go through the ignition system on these things and um, what ended up being the issue with this one. First thing that you're gonna wanna check is these wires here. You've got a plain white one, you got a white with a red tracer, and then these three here, you got a plain uh, red, plain green, and then a black with a red chaser. You're going to want to disconnect those from the CDI box and you're going to want to connect or yeah, connect your voltage, not your voltage regulator, but your multimeter to the wire and check for continuity to ground on each of these coming from um, the stator side. Uh, one of them is going to be your pickup coil and one of them is going to be the exciter coil. I believe the two two wires here pick up coil that one's the exciter um, continuity if you're not familiar with it is going to be this little uh, symbol here when you touch the two ends together you're going to have that beep so you're going to want to check continuity from each of those wires individually to ground on the body of the engine um, if any of them have ground and then obviously that coil is shorting out that's going to be the first spot to look the um second thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to disconnect these three yellows and do the same thing check for uh short to ground on those if those any of those have um continuity to ground then uh, your stator is shorted out and it's not going to generate for the spark beyond that what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find your cdi box right here there's going to be a single black wire coming out of it. Normally it would be plugged in right there. A single black wire. You're going to want to unplug that and try it again. And um, that's your kill switch up here on the handlebar. Red switch. If that's faulty in there and it thinks that it's always in the off position, uh, you will not have spark. And so this is basically a um, kind of an override on that to test that system. And so you should be able to, by testing each one of those components individually and checking for spark um, in between them, be able to narrow down what the problem uh, is on yours. On this one, ended up being just this uh, kill switch uh, wire. And so obviously, when we unplug that and now we have a spark there's a short in the wire somewhere between the switch and the um the panel down here so we'll have to dig into that a little bit further but at least we have it pinpointed where the failure is at